So I wasn't entirely sure whether I needed to uh, make a video on these topics or not, but considering how many times I've seen these rules being broken, I figured that I might as well go ahead since these are the last of the rules on the racing etiquette section that I haven't covered. There isn't really a whole lot to be said about these subjects. They're all pretty simple to understand and for the most part are common sense. So I'm not going to go too deep into them since there isn't a whole lot to go deep into. So first, let's talk about DNFing. Everyone is, you know, bound to get frustrated at some point during a race or may have to suddenly leave. Either way, it's important you make sure to hit F7 and then DNF. A common thing that many people do is simply open up the 5M console with F8 and use the quit command, no matter where they are on the track. Doing this is a huge mistake, especially if your car was on the track when you used said command. If you use F8, then you simply exit out of the 5M application, but you don't necessarily uh, DNF. When you DNF using the F7 menu, then your car disappears, and it's no longer in the location that it once was. Simply using the uh, quit command leaves your car in the spot it was in when uh, you use the quit command, which can make it a potential hazard. On your screen, you can see a prime example of this. Thank you, Wolver. While you can drive off track, and use the command there. It's simply better to just DNF before leaving the server. Okay, moving on. The last two topics I wanted to quickly go over are just moving up on the grid and conduct in the sin bin. Simply put, moving up on the grid is never allowed. And if the host of the race sees you moving up, they will tell you to move back to your original position. Take a look at this clip here. I deliberately move up on the grid and I personally ask Danny to tell me not to move up and bin me. So as you can see, he tells me twice. My original position is about like 10 cars back, so what I should be doing is moving back uh, to where I started. However, I deliberately do not listen and I get binned for it, which allows me to transition to the final subject, which is behaving in the sin bin. For those who do not know, the sin bin is a time at area on homecoming you are placed in for misconduct, be it deliberately taking out someone, bad sportsmanship, exploiting a glitch, whatever it is, you get placed into this area, which is the vault in the uh, Pacific Standard Bank. You get placed into this area for an entire race. If you remain a competent and cognizant driver, then this will be something that you really need to worry about. However, people can make mistakes time from time and they get binned for it. Sometimes a great deal of people, or some, sometimes what a great deal of people do after being binned is question or argue it, especially the latter. Instructions on what to do uh, are plastered on the bottom of the screen and are very strongly enforced by the racers. When you are in the sin bin, you should simply remain silent. If you direct your attention to the chat, I type in a message and I receive a couple of automated messages as a response right over here. So when you're in the bin, say nothing and wait for the race to finish so that the host who binned you can explain why you received it. However, never, under any circumstances, argue your bin. Do not show anger towards your bin. Do not insult another racer or the person who binned you, as doing any of these things will more than likely get you kicked from the server with an hour-long timeout.